Eloquent Blood was only one of a dozen bars in downtown Reno, but it was the oldest of them. It looked its age. Sulfur had long since crystallized on the tabletops and along the edges of the floor, then gathered dust atop that and dirt upon the dust. Nobody had cleaned it since the world became new. There wasn't even real staff anymore. It barely had a clientele. That was the appeal for the few regulars. You could sink into eloquent blood and nobody would bother you. There weren't a lot of places in America these days where the government wasn't watching. That was why Spencer had spent most of his days in the last month at Blood. His golden eyes marked him as one of the rebirthed, so he couldn't wipe his ass without the Office of Preternatural Affairs wanting a check-in. A blood donation. Another scan for emergent powers. Volunteer for work crew to help rebuild the infrastructure of the broken world. Spencer had tried to show up for work crew a couple mornings after day zero. They'd had him sterilizing a hospital full of orphans. Hundreds of preternatural orphans with uncontrolled powers. Hundreds of crying children who didn't understand why they'd died, why they'd come back, why they didn't have parents anymore. Eloquent blood was better. Grimy, smelly, but better. Two drinks. Spencer said, lifting a finger to the bartender. She'd confessed to him that she didn't work for Eloquent Blood. Nobody worked there anymore, but she had fun serving people. You sure you want drinks? She asked. You know what we've got to offer. Yeah, I know. Pour it up anyway. Suit yourself, so long as you don't harass me for the selection again. Cassandra winked and grabbed the least dusty cans of beer. Yo, how's it going? Avi asked, sliding onto the bar stool beside Spencer. Bad, Spencer said. Cassandra cracked the beers open and poured them into glasses. He took one and gave the other to Javi. It'll be worse in an hour, though. Javi squinted at the light shining from the surface. There used to be a casino above what the patrons called Blood, but while the bar had survived Apocalypse, its surface-level structure had been flattened. The only way into blood was through a crumbling, rebar-prickled crevasse near 4th Street, which flooded every time it rained. At the moment, blood was dry, and the clear sky beyond was painted in tones of bright orange. Moonrise would come once the sun vanished. It was a shockingly regular activity these days. The moon came up when the sun went down, and they traded places in the morning. It was magic, no doubt about it, and a small nod toward order in a chaotic world. Shapeshifters like Spencer and Javi had thirty minutes to get to a designated safe house. The nearest to eloquent blood was a five-minute walk inside the Aces Stadium on first. Plenty of time for drinks. Javi lifted the glass to his mouth. Spencer's hand shot over the rim before he could taste it. You didn't give thanks. Spencer said. It's a three-year-old Coors Light, Javi said. It tastes like stale water and beer can. There's nothing to give thanks over. We came back from the end of the world. We aren't in one of those hospitals. We have something to drink, and a lot of people don't. You think that NKF thinks we've nothing to be thankful for? NKF's not thinking about some pit of a bar where two asshole shifters are trying to delay going to a safe house, Javi said. NKF is God. He can think about everything, Spencer said. Javi grew quiet at this, contemplating the foul yellow drink in his murky glass. All right, 